Hi there, thanks for joining us. I'm Chris McKinnon with the WBZ News Update. Chatham Police investigating a carjacking. They were called to Jackknife Landing off Orleans Road just after midnight. A woman told police a man forced her out of her vehicle and tried to take off a crash into the water. He ran from the scene. Police are now investigating if this is related to another vehicle stolen and found crashed earlier in the night. A cruiser crash in Boston. A state police vehicle collided with an SUV on Tremont Street right near the common. This it's still unclear what caused that crash, but our photographer on the scene spotted two people being taken into custody. Coastal communities bracing for another potentially damaging storm. Yesterday, crews on Plum Island moved boulders into place to protect homes from flooding and prevent beach erosion there. Officials in Situate warned residents to be prepared for some possible power outages. They say National Grid and Eversource have extra crews in town ready to respond. Now let's check in with meteorologist Danielle Niles for the latest on this next nor'easter heading our way, Danielle. It's going to be slow to move in, Chris. From south to north here today, you can still see areas of snow back to our west, a big upper level low. That energy going to transfer to the coastline. So what we can expect is snow to arrive along the south coast, Cape and Islands through late morning and early afternoon, advancing through the south shore into the city of Boston, Metro West, probably not until this evening. So a lot of the day is fine. Even for your evening drive where it's been snowing a couple hours south of town, the road should be more wet than white for most of us with the temperature above freezing in a lot of spots. Steadiest snow is overnight tonight until tomorrow morning. There's going to be a sharp cutoff on the northwest side with the steadiest snow tapering off late morning to midday tomorrow. Two to five for the Merrimack Valley, Route 2 quarter, less north than that. Five to eight inches. Worcester to Boston, back down to the Upper Cape. Two to five for the Outer Cape with a coating to two on Nantucket. And there may be a few locally higher amounts from eastern Connecticut, far southern Worcester County, along 495 and southern uh, western Norfolk County and Bristol counties back down through Rhode Island. It will be a wetter pace to your snow in some of these areas in southeastern Massachusetts, too. So that will up the risk of some isolated to scattered outages. And typically for this nor'easter, as is any nor'easter, strongest wind gusts at the coast, 40 to 50 miles per hour, but some isolated gusts to six. 60 possible on Cape Cod. Strongest wind comes in tonight and tomorrow morning. So snow slowly moves in right around 33, 34. Areas of snow and slippery travel that results tonight. Tomorrow, the morning snow will taper. We get some melting with some breaks of sunshine. Temperature up around 40 degrees. Coastal communities, tonight's high tide around 3 a.m., give or take, going to experience some minor to moderate pockets of coastal flooding and erosion. Chris? All right, Danielle, thank you very much. And thanks for checking in with us. I'm Chris McKinnon. This has been a WBZ News Update. Have a great day. Thank you.